Hi beauties, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you've never been here before, welcome. My name is Jenny Beauty and today I'm going to be doing a very exciting video on some drugstore products. These are all from Physicians Formula. Um, obviously not everything in my look is going to be from Physicians Formula, but I'm going to be testing out quite a few things from them. So if you'd like to see that, please just keep on watching. And if I have paint in my hair, please do not mind it because I'm going to paint later today and I don't feel like washing it out. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's just get started. Alright guys, so a few days ago I went on to the Physicians Formula website because I had heard that they released the Butter Bronzer Collection, or Butter Collection, I guess, at Walmart, and then, so I went to my Walmart and I could not find it. I looked a couple times and I really wanted to try it. I've never tried their Butter Bronzer or anything from their Butter line, so I went online and I had to get it. So this is what it looks like. This is their Butter Collection in the medium to deep. They have a light to medium and then a medium to deep, I believe, and it's just got... Sorry, it kind of broke, so hopefully it doesn't fall out. But I've got two highlighters here that are limited edition. Um, they do have highlighters, though, that they sell. But these two are just specifically for this palette. And then we've got a bronzer in the deep bronzer. And then a blush in vintage rogue. And then it also comes with a perfume, which smells like the butter bronzer. It just It's actually a really good smelling perfume. Like, I didn't think I would like it that much but it smells delicious. It's like coconut, tropical paradise, and I'm obsessed. So this was, um, I think, $14.95 on the website, and I think they sell them cheaper in Walmart, like $10 to $12. For some reason, it's cheaper. So if you can find this in a Walmart, I would recommend picking it up there, but they do have the two colors on their website if you cannot find them. But this is going to be limited edition. I'm not sure how long it's supposed to be out, but... I'm so excited about it. So I picked that up and then while I was on the website I was like why not try other things from Physicians Formula because I've tried things from them before but I never really had a good experience with them. Like I remember when they came to Walmart they cost a little bit more and they were just a nicer kind of seating brand. So I did end up trying a couple things like a long time ago and I was never really a huge fan. So I kind of just stopped buying from them, but I've been hearing good things about them lately, so I wanted to try some other stuff. So, so I also went ahead and picked up their Spotlight Illuminating Primer. I was reading the reviews, and some people said this is comparable to the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, I think is what it's called. Um, and, I mean, this packaging is brilliant. It is so nice for drugstore, like, I'm obsessed. And then I also picked up the Healthy Foundation, which also has beautiful packaging. Again, obsessed with it. And um, I read pretty good reviews on this as well, so I wanted to try this out. And this comes in, I believe, 14 colors online. I'm not sure what the selection looks like in stores, but I did want to grab this and try it out. And I got the color MW2. So I'm going to try both of these out today as well as the Butter Collection. I'm going to use the highlights, the blush, and the bronzer. So let's just get on into the video and get to trying these products. I will say I did try them yesterday, so I kind of know what I think, but either way, let's see what we think. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the Spotlight Primer. It is an illuminating primer, and it says with anti, or with age-defying actives, in it as well. So this is what it looks like. This is seriously the most beautiful packaging and it comes with a pump too which is great and this comes with one fluid ounce um, for $14.95. So I will say this isn't the best smelling primer in the world but I definitely think it gave me a pretty decent glow so I really like that. And then since that is a really like highlighting kind of primer, I do want to kind of counteract that with a pore filling primer because that will accentuate your pores and I do not want to do that. So the Cover Effects Blurring Primer. I'm just going to take that and apply it to the areas where my pores are larger to just fill them in. Okay, so I just press that into the skin and it reminds me a lot of the Professional Primer from Benefit, which I use all the time and I've been repurchasing, so, so far so good. 
So now that the primers have soaked into the skin a little bit, I'm going to take the Healthy Foundation and apply it all over my face. So this foundation comes with an SPF of 20, it has a brightening complex, and it is for all skin types it says. Um, packed with vitamins and antioxidants for healthy coverage, infused with Chinese Wu Zhu Yu extract and hyaluronic acid to brighten, hydrate, and even skin tone. Ultra blendable, lightweight, buildable, and breathable. So this foundation was also $14.95, um, and I'm not really sure what it costs in stores or what the selection is like, but it had 14 shades online, which I feel like is a very big step up for our physician's formula, so can't really knock them on trying to expand a little bit. So, this actually does not have a pump. It's got like a big doe foot applicator, which I don't really mind, but I just thought it had a pump whenever I first got it. So, just FYI if you're getting this. It may seem like I applied a lot, but as I said, I have tried this out before. So, yesterday I did use it, and I know it takes quite a bit to give me the coverage that I want. So, yeah. So as you can see, this is one layer of foundation. I feel like it gives my skin a nice healthy glow, especially with that primer underneath. And I feel like it looks super skin-like, like it's really, really pretty. But it's not quite as much coverage as I would like, so I'm going to add some more. But let me just zoom in real quick and show you what it looks like with one layer, in case you're a one layer kind of girl. So as you can see, you can still see some discoloration here, but it's not awful. I just prefer for that to be covered up more. So as I said, I'm just going to apply another layer, uh, mostly to the cheek area. I will say this foundation doesn't seem to build up quite as well as other foundations do. Um, but it does build up a little bit. You just got to work a little harder and add more product than you might think. Okay, so here's two layers and I feel like this is how I'm going to leave it. I feel like it looks pretty good. Um, you can still like see a little bit of discoloration under the skin but nothing too crazy. But I feel like it just looks like so healthy and luminous and it's really pretty. Um, so I'm really liking it so far. Okay, so now I'm going to go on with some concealer. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in number 20, which is sand, and conceal per usual. Okay, so I just set my face. Now it feels nice and set, so I'm ready to move on to the bronzer. So as I said before yesterday, I never used the Butter Bronzer, even though it was highly raved about. And you guys should feel the way these feel. If you've never felt any of these products, these two feel really smooth, especially for like powder. They are buttery, buttery, buttery. And then the highlighters are more of a um, cream. And they are literally like the slipperiest things. They are so pretty and they just smooth right out and feel so nice. So here's what the bronzer and the blush look like, if you can see that. The bronzer is just a nice subtle color and then the blush as well. Take my Real Techniques blush brush and put it in the bronzer and just bronze up these cheeks. I'm also going to bronze up the forehead. And the jawline. And I'm just going to kind of chisel out the bottom of the cheeks with some powder. Uh, just to make the bronzer look a little less messy down there. Okay, and then moving on to blush, I'm going to use that same blush brush and apply that to the cheeks. I 
feel like this blush is a really like subtle but pretty color. It's nothing out of this world, but it's really pretty and really nice, so I do like it. Okay, and then for highlighter, you guys are going to die when you see these. I'm going to be using the Real Techniques setting brush. I love this brush for highlighter. And I'm just going to take a little bit, like I'm going to take mostly this full moon color, which is like a goldy, a light gold. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this galactic color and just kind of mix them together and apply that to the cheekbones. Are you ready for this? Like holy intense highlight. That is nuts. <laughs> it's almost too much for me. Like this is bright. I have a little texture on my cheek right here, so that probably wasn't the best idea, but wow. Okay, and then last but not least for this butter collection, um, I'm going to take this spray and just kind of describe to you how it smells. Obviously, it's supposed to smell like the butter bronzer, so if you've ever smelt that, it's pretty much the same, but something about it is a little different, so I'm going to smell it and just kind of try to explain it to you. Okay, so it's like really coconutty, but it's also got like a fruity kind of scent and I'm not sure what kind of fruit it smells like but like you would think a scent like this that comes with something like this you'd think it'd be like overwhelmingly like ah uh, cheap smelling you know what I mean like some of those spray like body sprays that you get at Walmart or whatever they just don't smell like that good but this actually is like a perfume I would totally wear in the summer it just smells like a beach day out just like coconuts and flowers or some kind of fruit or something I don't know it smells really really good and like I want another one of these or two because it's so small I feel like it'll last a little while but not super long so yeah this just smells really really good and I thought it was really cool that everybody's talked about how good the butter bronzer smells and that it should be a scent and people say that all the time about makeup, like, oh my gosh, if this was a scent, I would totally buy it. And so I thought it was cool that they actually, like, did that and they've been listening and, I don't know, I thought for $14.95, this set is a gem. Like, you need this in your life. It is such a good deal. I mean, the bronzer and the highlights are probably, like, $6 or more a piece anyways. Um, why not buy a set? It just makes sense. So that is going to be all the items from Physicians Formula. So let me just zoom you in before I move on and show you what it looks like. It's highlight. I can't. I can't handle it. Everything just looks so fresh and pretty and dewy and summery and I am obsessed. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut off this video here. I'm going to go film my BoxyCharm unboxing. This is for the month of May. It is my second BoxyCharm I've received, but it's my first BoxyCharm video. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm gonna go film that, show you what I got in this box. And if you'd like to see that video, it will be up sometime around this one since I'm filming them on the same day. Um, so I will keep you posted on that. Um, if it's already up, I'll leave a little card or something up here. But I'm gonna go film this and I'm going to finish off my makeup with what's in here. And then I will come back and show you the complete look so catch you in a minute all right guys so i am back i just finished putting on my makeup i am using products from my boxy charm so if you're curious about the lip um the eyeliner what else did i use the contour all that um feel free to watch the boxy charm video i will leave a link down below um i love this stuff all of it from physicians formula like as I said in the beginning, I tried it before, was not a huge fan, started hearing good things about it again. They must have hired somebody new and who knows what they're doing because they feel so much more high-end now. From the packaging to the actual products, all of it is phenomenal. Love it. So I highly recommend getting some of these things. First off, the foundation. I feel like it looks really good. I used it yesterday. It lasted really well. 
Um, it looks super skin-like, nothing too crazy. I just feel like it's a really beautiful foundation. It comes in beautiful packaging. Uh, obviously, not everybody will find a skin color that matches them in this range. But if you're my skin tone, I would go with MW2. It's medium warm too, and it is a really good match for me, I think. Um, the Spotlight Primer. I'm not really a huge illuminating primer kind of person, but I will say that this is a really nice primer. Um, so far, I really like it. I'm not sure it does anything for the longevity of my makeup, but it definitely has a glow to it. That is for sure. And again, the packaging is just really, really pretty. Um, I've never used the Becca Backlight Priming Filter or whatever it's called, so I don't know if it's anything in comparison to that, but as far as a luminizing primer, this is really pretty. I really like it. As for the star of the show, I really, really love all the products that came in this. I will say the packaging is very bulky, pretty unnecessary. It feels pretty heavy, and obviously they had to have packaging where they could fit in the perfume but I don't know something about this I'm not a huge fan of just travel wise it's not gonna be your best friend but the bronzer is gorge blush really pretty highlights are both really nice and everything just feels so luxurious and like way more expensive than it is so definitely would recommend this the perfume would be perfect for beach days so good um, yeah, I mean, I really have no complaints from everything I bought. I'm very happy with it. I'm glad I won't have to return anything because I hate returning stuff, let's be honest. Alright guys, so that completes this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you let me know what you think of these Physician Formula products. Have you tried them? Do you like them? What are your thoughts? I'm really curious to know. And are you going to pick them up if you have not already? Just let me know in the comments. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. Also, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see that BoxyCharm video. It'll be up soon if it's not already up. And, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Really sorry about the paint in my hair, but sometimes it happens. <laughs> um, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!